Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Phillips here with co-authors Becky Bush and Sarah Lenhart. We're so excited to introduce you to a brand new resource, Sound Differentiation, to help you with online, hybrid, or traditional teaching. Here is Becky to tell you more. Hi, I'm Becky, and Sound Differentiation is a new book that includes 15 standard beginning tunes to use with beginners. One challenge we're all concerned about, especially this year, is keeping beginners motivated and engaged. With this book, every student can learn the melody or the tune, which keeps them excited and making fast progress while learning online. These tunes are all on the D and A string, while basses play only on the D and G strings. Each tune has an open string bass line, a harmony part, and a variation. You can use the easier bass line to reinforce posture and position while using the harmony part and variation to provide a challenge for students who have mastered the tune. It also provides opportunities for student choice in which part they learn. Each tune can be played pizzicato or arco at your discretion. Here's Sarah to tell you more. Hi. To help you start beginners, the first two pieces include rote notation with the letter note names written out in addition to standard notation. This will come in handy of starting online because it will be helpful to focus on playing a tune rather than liter literacy. You will have to be laser focused with content in order to get them playing well. So a big focus of online teaching should really be to keep students playing their instruments and actually making music. This might mean we need to delay literacy a little during this year. The chord symbols are provided above the variation in each piece so that students or teachers can play an accompaniment on instruments such as electric keyboard, guitar, ukulele, or piano. It is a basic chord progression that is playable by most students, parents, or friends. Here's Becky to explain more. There are many ways to actually differentiate using this material. In order of difficulty, the parts start with the easiest being the bass line, and then moving to the tune, and then the harmony, and then variation one, and some pieces have a variation two, which is harder yet. The difficulty of each piece also progresses throughout the book. Within each song, there are possibilities to differentiate because the parts are identical for each instrument. The first option, if you look on the left of the screen, there's a group one and two. You can assign students by ability into each group. Group one for each tune is always the easiest. At, for the harder songs at the end, there's actually goes, goes into three groups, so you have even more possibilities for differentiation. The second option in the middle is the violin, viola, and cello bass option, and that's where you divide them into two equal groups. They're, they all play the same um, sections of the song, but they play them at different times, so you have an arrangement. The third option, the teacher template, is all the way on the right side of your screen. This is where the teacher can assign individual students their own order to provide the best differentiation for each student and or class. Students can write in the order that their teacher assigns. This would be a great way to have students play together if they're in smaller ensembles due to social distancing because it isn't reliant on instrumentation and it can work for all ability levels. It also allows them to play in any combination of instruments since they all have the same parts. The teacher may use any or all of the parts to create an arrangement or the ensemble can play in unison. For example, the entire ensemble could play the tune, the variation, and end with the tune. Another option is the ensemble could be divided into any of these groupings. Um, and then the third option is you can just divide the ensemble and play um, the tune and the bass line. You can make each tune as simple or complex as you want. There are many great tunes in this book that beginners love. Sarah's going to explain how to use the power of oral teaching with this resource, whether you are online, in person, or hybrid. Starting beginners mostly by ear can aid learning this year because it reduces the number of skills that students need to focus on at once. Introducing these pieces by ear and introducing the notation as a reference or as needed could be beneficial. This can be easily done on Zoom if you mute the students and have them echo you or have them echo you in a pre-recorded video. Be sure to chunk the material in an achievable section so that it's not frustrating for the students. You could also match beginners with high school orchestra mentors because we're working online. So they could provide the beginners with more feedback um, on their playing position. Try to provide students with quick feedback online 
and have them work in partners to give each other feedback. Remember, you only need to hear or see them for really a few seconds to be able to provide meaningful feedback uh, on their posture and their position. Back to Bob with another resource. Smart Music is a fantastic tool for online teaching and learning. All lines in the book are included. To learn more, there is a great tutorial online called the Smart Music Academy, which you can look up. Students can play any line in the book and the software will assess which notes and rhythms were played correctly and receive a performance score while listening to the recording of themselves. The score and recordings can be sent to you for evaluation. Students can evaluate their own performance and then submit it back to you. The software ha also has a built-in metronome tuner and allows students to loop sections. Both teachers and students can see each other's written comments on every assignment and student recording. Included are 150 method books, 5,400 ensembles, and thousands of solos. All the repertoire is a great resource for students to have for either personal exploration or assigned as class projects. The orchestra repertoire will allow you to have them work on orchestra pieces. They may not be ready yet, but if they are, they could work on the orchestra music, even if it's not possible for them to be physically together in an ensemble. This will, book will be in Smart Music soon, and we'll finish with Becky. Remember, no matter what materials you're utilizing for online teaching, you may need to cover a little less content and increase repetition to achieve success. When making videos, keep it to three short goals or less and interactive. Have the students do things along with you in the video and they can even echo your playing to learn the tunes. Teach tuning earlier so your students can tune their instruments effectively. Model practice strategies and provide practice checklists for students to work through. The back of, of this book, Sound Differentiation, has a checklist. You can add learning targets um, and then they can check off each learning target they've met for each tune. There is no doubt we are in a challenging time, but it's also a really exciting time. We have so much technology and so many resources easily accessible that we'll be able to use even after we're back to traditional teaching. Uh, we, th we think this is really gonna transform the way we all teach and, and are able to impact students. We have all had a teacher that made a difference in our lives. We know that you will be able to do what you always do as music teachers, be successful with students no matter what the circumstances. You will be that teacher in a student's life. We hope you've got a few ideas and we wish you all the best in your teaching situation this year. From all of the Sound Innovation authors, have a fantastic year.